to my YouTube channel. I have my sister here with me today, Gabrielle. We are gonna do a little makeup tutorial. If you guys know me in real life, you know I don't wear much makeup, and I really don't know what any of this makeup is, so Gabby is gonna do a full face of makeup on me, and she's gonna describe each of the products she uses, because we're using all the products she uses on her face, and her makeup always looks fleek on point, so <laughs> she's gonna do it to me. And then we also went on Instagram and Facebook and asked people to ask us questions. So we have a couple questions we're going to answer throughout the video as well. Mm -hmm. So I think you're going to start with the first question. Also, a disclaimer, I, this is, what time is it? Almost 6 o'clock Eastern time. And I was, this makeup is from 6 in the morning and I went to work and I'm home. I retouched it a little bit, but... Don't judge me. I've been absolutely doing nothing all day. I just slept <laughs> all day because it's my time of the month. And then she comes busting in my room, so I told her we needed to do this video. So when she got home, she's like, are you ready? I'm like, oh, I didn't know you'd still want to do it. So mm -hmm. here we are. Also, I don't know if you guys saw the clip, but shout out to Caitlin. She gave me this before I moved. All right. <clears throat> so I got a question on my Instagram, and I felt like this is um, a really good question to start out because I think that if you want your makeup to look good, it all starts with your skin. So the first question I got was, beauty or skin routines, prettiest skin out there? Shout yeah. out to Maddie Hames, thank you so much. Okay. Or actually I say Maddie Farwell now. Yeah, I always say Hames too. Yeah, I know. Um, so we're gonna just answer the skin, um, we're not gonna do a full walkthrough of what we do for our skincare routine, because we'll do another, well Maddie will do another video, but I'll be. Yeah, we what, can both do it, we both. Well I know, I'll be, both. but what, what, should, what is it called? Am I co-hosted? No. What is it? Yeah. I'm a guest. So I'll start in another video. <laughs> oh, guest appearance. No, she'll be in my... If we, I'm going to do an updated skincare routine and she'll be in it because we both use different products. But we use both use products that like obviously work well for our skin types and we right. have different skin types. I have very sensitive. She has rough. Uh, <laughs> well, I, what like, I think I'm like uh, normal. <laughs> I feel like nothing bothers her. Yeah, skin. I don't like, am, she yeah, can use I don't break anything. out or anything really. But yeah, I'm like certain products, like I can really use anything. I don't. My skin doesn't react to like. Okay, so the first one I guess is like a cleanser, and my favorite one right now is the Green Clean cleanser. It's a balm. So I double cleanse my face when I wear a full face of makeup because I feel like a regular cleanser cannot does not take off all the makeup. So I double cleanse, like a paste type thing, and you rub in your fingers, and then you just, you don't even have to wet your face or anything, you just rub it all over, and then like, when you have mascara, you just wipe down until like, there's no mascara left, then you wash it, and then you just towel, like wipe it off, and then I go in with another cleanser, not this one. But this one leaves your skin really soft, takes everything off, it's not too harsh. Um, it is kind of up there on the price, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, I've used it a couple times with sometimes with her knowing, sometimes without her knowing, and it works like I just need a little bit and I go like this and it takes off my mascara like in two swipes. Like it works really well. Yeah, so I recommend it. Mm -hmm. So my first product I chose was a product I've been using since I've started like skincare. <clears throat> two years. A couple of years. Yeah. Right. It's the First Aid Beauty Cleanser, which this has been in my um, nighttime routine forever. This one I think is my holy grail. Mm -hmm. And price wise it's like medium. I think it, the big bottle is $30, $35 and it lasts me a really long time so it's pretty good. Okay. I want to start with makeup routine and I'll find the first question for us. Uh, second question. Second question. Okay so the first product I use, um, I've tried a couple different foundations and um, I'm a huge fan of, I'm not, I don't know if I know any of these names, or I don't know if I'm going to pronounce all these names correctly, but um, Maddie will leave all the products down in the description. <laughs> yeah! So this is Illa. Or I might just put pictures of them on the screen. We'll see. Illa. It's one of the cleanest makeup brands in Sephora right now. It's super popular. And this is a... It has niacinamide in it, aloe infused serum foundation. So I'm going to just do a little pump of this. Probably just one pump for Mad. It's about medium coverage, but I think it's pretty sheer. It, it, I mean, it hides like the, you know the redness and stuff like that, but it definitely like you can see your freckles and face marks and stuff like that. So it's not like high coverage. So it depends on what you're looking for. But I think this is good. And we live in Florida too, and it, my skin can breathe easily. I don't feel like it's I'm wearing a mask or anything like that. So should I start with the next question, or do you have some more to say? I don't know, man. Okay, so our next question is Florida or Illinois. 
Is that even a question? Yeah, but you can't say why because another question. I have an, I got another question that asks more. So it's just like asking. Which Florida, one? Illinois, yes. Florida. Florida for sure. So then it goes in with the next question. What is your favorite thing about moving to Florida? Um, Mine, off the top of my head, I'm a little newer here. Gabby's more seasoned than I am, so I think I. Not that she doesn't appreciate this because I know she does, <laughs> but I notice the difference more of the nice weather. Well, like, yeah, I always say that. No, that's what I'm saying, but like, that's the first thing that comes to my head is like literally how much you can do here compared to back home. I always say that, man. I know, but you didn't think, like, uh, that's the first thing that came That's what literally what I was thinking about. Was it? Like, so it's probably both of ours, to be honest. I'm gonna start tapping or heavier with this. Like, <laughs> that's fine, huh? <laughs> yeah. But I feel like we're a lot more active and willing to do more things like we got a bush gardens pass we season pass season and pass. if you guys don't know what that is it's um an amusement park we play tennis now we go for walks like it's just we're outside all the time yes there's just so much more you can do here which is amazing yeah because if i was home right now all i'd be doing is either probably at the bar <laughs> working or you know drinking or uh -huh. laying on the couch with my parents <laughs> So then, since we answered that question, it goes into another question. Like, get a little bit closer to the, okay, so I just did the full, so can you tell the difference? Very natural, right? Yeah, I'd say it looks, my skin looks smoother, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. We're almost like the same color, thank God, because I was kind of nervous. Really? When you right? I thought we would be close. Oh. Okay, so the next question is, I don't like the shirt. Well, I gotta say why. Jeez, you're just gonna skip out on me. Oh, I thought we were like kind of disagreed we'd be the same. I have something to say. Let's hear it. <laughs> Basically the same thing. <laughs> the thing about Florida compared to Illinois is that there's tons of little towns that you can like, we can go to and explore. Because in Illinois, like, sorry, but like you have Naperville, Aurora, like what are you going to go over to do? That? The exact same thing. But here, like you can go to different beaches, you can go to different towns, they offer different things. You can do, they have a lot of like interactive things because it's so populated here too. So they do a lot of like cool events like we've gone to free workout classes oh, out on the lawn that overlooks like the um, Tampa Bay and try new coffee places I'm a big coffee person volleyball sand uh, just I don't know it's endless you know? yeah you can do so many different yeah you can do so many different things there's always things going on new people to hang out I don't know it's just yeah just better mm -hmm. okay what is this oh shoot I forgot we're doing the makeup tutorial <laughs> so this is um from the same brand Ilya it's the concealer. Now, I let's focus. Yeah, that's how you know. These are um, pretty high up there on the price range. Not too high. I think this was about 50 bucks, and then the concealer is about 32, which is kind of normal. But I think these two are really good products. They're, they're the cleanest at Sephora, like I said. And this one really does give you a good like highlight and coverage. And highlight, what I mean, like that, you know, like a nice little glow. Yeah, I you think, can see your little glow. Yeah, so I think these are important so like depending on who you are and where you want to put coverage at Maddie didn't need much at all because she has really good skin and really no blemishes I'm just gonna do what I would do on my face on her face so you guys can see like what I do mm -hmm. so I would just do a tiny many look at the camera there we go all right I just do a tiny bit right there and then I would do in the eyes open <laughs> hi <laughs> scary <laughs> Yeah, I man, I doesn't ever do this. I don't think the, the last time I did her makeup was probably when all this was on your face. Prom. So, prom. So, like, that was, like, years. That was six years ago. So, and then I always go like this, too, because I just feel like it gives, like, the eye lift kind of effect. Mm. Then I do a tiny bit on the nose, because you can't forget about that. Look in the mirror. I mean, in the mirror. <laughs> and then I don't do much concealer, because this, it is a really good concealer. So, I feel like if you did too much, you can really see the difference between the two colors of the foundation. And so I love Hailey Bieber and I always watch her tutorials and she always does this. Oops. All the way in. We can do yeah. that. Which I really like to do, so I do that now. And like I see you, people do that. Yeah, and when you do your bronzer too, I, I always make it a little bit thicker right here because I like to look like a clean cut right here. Not too clean where it's not like where it doesn't look bad, but to clean it off. All right. I tried t-shirt because I really don't like it. Okay. So yeah. And what were what what were we doing? Questions. Oh, concealer. What are you doing? No, blending. 
I'll blend in the blend container. In. And the question was, um, what what's your least favorite thing about moving to Florida? The thing that came to my head was, I'm not around my parents. Oh, okay. So, yeah. That's yeah, fun. because I just miss them a lot, and I love them. <laughs> well, duh. But... I don't know, before I left, like, we got, me and my parents got really close because both my sisters were gone. So, I did a lot, like, I, f I spent every day with them, so we got, like, a little bond. So, it's kind of sad not being by them all the time anymore. But, I'm growing up, and I'm maturing, and I'm learning independence, so that's good. Um, one thing I don't like about Florida is it's very little what I don't like. I mean, does that make sense? No. Oh, it's, yeah, very little what I don't like. Oh, very little of what you don't like. I yeah, so like I don't really hate right. much here. The one thing that I don't like though is um, the summers are brutally hot, and I do love like the good weather and like um, I'd rather be hot than cold. But when I say it's brutal, it's like you step outside and you instantly start sweating. So like I don't know, like I've never had a summer like that before, and like it's it's almost insufferable where like you don't even want to be outside because it's so hot. So it's like you know when it's cold in, when we lived in Illinois. Um, you're like, oh, and I can't go outside because it's so cold. You guys stay inside. That's like, oh, it's <laughs> yeah. Right here. Wait, now look, look, oh, at, look at this coverage, guys. Like, can't you tell the difference between? Oh my god, you forgot some. <laughs> can't you guys tell the difference between that eye and this eye? Can't you tell? Yeah, you can. And then wait, turn, and then look. You already see that kind of like glow. Oh yeah. And this side, I mean, you can't really tell, but this side, it's the concealer does that's that. That's cool. I know. It's a really good concealer, so I really suggest it. Right, hmm. let me do this side. So the one thing you don't like is that? Yeah. Okay, my turn to ask a question. Wait, no, what, what, what was your thing that you didn't like? The heat. Oh. In the summer, in the summer only. Oh, okay. Oh my god. It's an eyelash, we can't make a wish. <laughs> Let me see it. Oh! <gasps> there yeah. it is, guys. Oh, let me see. Make a wish. It's my eyelash, I'm gonna make a wish. I found it. My <laughs> <laughs> eyelash! <laughs> I found it in your eye. I gonna make the wish. Or I caught it. it. We can both make a wish. Ready? Next question was, what's your biggest challenge in having two sisters so close in age, if any? So for reference, if you guys, since you guys don't know, or some of you guys do, um, we are three years apart. But that probably could go to you and Courtney. Like that. Well, yeah. Me and my other other question. I know, but me and my uh, other sister, Courtney on the yoga challenge if you guys didn't see that go see maddie's latest video um we're 11 months apart and if the biggest challenge having two sisters i don't think it's any challenge i think um even more so that i'm lucky that we're all so close in age i would hate to be farther apart in age because then i feel like there's more of a generation gap then i feel like we're all in the same generation we all have like you know, like you're not similar, similar, sim yeah, similar interests and stuff like that. So, I don't think there's any um, challenges of having us close in age. I think they'd be more of a challenge if we were farther apart in age. Yeah, I completely agree. Next product I use is a liquid blush. Um, I used to do powder. I sometimes do powder. I switch it up here and there, but I really love liquid blush. So I use the Nars Orgasm Orgasm um, Liquid Blush. This is like one of their most popular colors. Anyway, so I just do like a tiny little pump. Like literally that much. That's almost like way too much, and this will last you forever because yeah, this is not high on the price point too. <laughs> but hey, if you're wearing makeup like often enough, and then if you feel good and confident when you put your makeup on, that's all that matters. Yeah. So I spend a, and plus it's on your face and it sits on your face. And I want good products, clean products going on my face because I take good care of my skin. So I'm gonna do the same return with my makeup because it sits on my face. So I just put on with this kind of brush and then I kind of just sweep it over the cheeks like this. Yeah, that's good. I put it on like the nose a little bit and I think everyone knows this is because it looks like a little burnt but it looks so cute. And then I do some on the forehead. Really anywhere you can put this. And then sometimes, well actually all the time, I'll do it with my fingers though usually. I'll put it on my eyelids. Just so it like kind of like, not too much where like it's noticeable that you're wearing it but like it kind of like just makes it all cohesive then. It's harder doing makeup on another person. You always say that. I know. I hate doing makeup on another person, actually. Okay. And then look at how much I have left. We'll waste. The next one, I, I always do everything before the eyebrows because I feel like the eyebrows, like you use gel and then you use like a pen or fill, like whatever. And I feel like that gets on your eyebrows and then your eyebrows shape your face. So I just do that last. So right now I'm going to go in with some bronzer. I have the Bare Minerals bronzer. 
This is my darker one. So this is like mainly for summertime when like you're super tan. And then I have the butter bronze. It smells amazing. And I really like this stuff. It's very, it's, it's very natural looking and then it's very buildable. So like if you put it on and like, you know, everyone likes to look a little bronzed. Everyone looks a little bit better with a tan. Mm -hmm. You can easily build it on. So I'm going to use this one today. I'm Maddie. Okay. Okay, so favorite cock or your go-to cocktail. So like if I'm out like just for like a night out, not like like a drinking night out, I just go to my basic Tito's soda with a little splash of lemonade. Mm -hmm. Always good, always made perfect because you can't really mess it up unless you put too much lemonade in it. But like if I'm going out to dinner or if we're going out for like nice drinks or if we're trying a new place. My favorite drink to try somewhere is a French martini. Back home, 113 Maine has a fire French martini that I love. And they're, I just feel like they're hard to come by, so that's one of my favorite ones. I so have a night out drinking. I'm doing, you know, the classic um, Tito's soda, or I like kettle one, soda with fruit, or and sometimes I'll get a splash of cranberry in it. Um, if it's a special night out, I will, um, or not special, if it's just like going to dinner and we're having a couple of cocktails like Mad said. Um, I like Cosmos, Cosmo, Cosmopolitans are my favorite. I've been really into Old Fashions, oh, Woodford yeah. Reserve on the sweeter side for the Old Fashioned. I really like them. And then, um, or like a nice red wine, like a red blend oh. or Merlot I like. It really just depends on like the weather, um, your what we're eating, stuff like that. Like red wine is usually, I crave it more like in the winter months. Um, reserve, I mean, reserve. Old fashions are newer, so I feel like I don't really know when. And then Cosmos are like a good like rooftop summer moment. Oh, <laughs> and she actually got me on red wine. So whenever she drinks red wine, I probably drink red wine. Like a, okay, no, actually don't do anything. Just relax. <laughs> oh my God, I don't want to make that face. <laughs> <laughs> that really did it. What is that? Okay, hold on, honey. Oh, sorry. <laughs> trying to make you pretty. Well, you already are pretty, but I'm trying to enhance. <laughs> so then I also do some bronzer on the lids, too, just to make everything go together. But, you know, it's all up to you. Bronzer is like... I kind of feel like you put this all over the face. No. And then I will go in with... Oh, my God, I forgot the powder. Was that supposed to be before? Okay, actually, wait. Okay, so sorry guys, I kind of like got excited. I'm getting distracted because we're doing the questions. So before the bronzer, you put all your face powder on and I use the Laura Marci Mercier translucent powder. It's my holy grail. I've been using this for years and I totally, <laughs> <laughs> as I forget about it, this is the most important yeah. part. I just forget Are you about put it. it on still? Yeah, I'm not all over. So like, um, so if you just did what I just did and you're wondering how to correct the mistake, this is what you do. <laughs> But I also do put this on after bronzer too because, well, mainly just like right here to like really enhance the, uh, you don't have to make no face. <laughs> relax. Hey, <Okay>, relax. <laughs> relax. I can't relax when you're talking to me like that. A lot. <laughs> God, this lighting is terrible in here. It's so dark. You can barely see what I'm doing to your face. Oh, amazing. But follow these steps. <laughs> Okay, you have another question? Um, Mini, I feel like you so many things going on. She wants me to do her makeup, she wants me to ask questions, she wants this me- This was the deal! I just gotta sit here. here. <laughs> wait, wait, calm down. Look up. I'll learn her ear like this. Like, <laughs> I'm trying not to move either because I know oh, she would pull stay it. Stay here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And is going to be, how is it living with each other? Because. You gotta get a little wispy. I'm gonna just like brush off her eyebrows a little bit. And then um, in this moment, I use two products for the eyebrows. I use the NYX Fill and Fluff um, pen. So on one side you have this fluffer. You'll see me fluff it out. And on this side you have the pen. Check there. <laughs> this one's an okay product. Um, I just got it, so I'm trying it out. It's okay. It's cheap enough, so I don't mind. But my holy grail is, if you guys, if you guys know your makeup, you know this what the bottle is. And I'm hoping you guys don't know because I kind of forgot the name of it. <laughs> I think it's a Benefit Brows. 
Bully Makeup the... guru over here. Bully. You want to take that? You want to take the lead? I will answer them all first. Maddie is a... She's nervous. She's like, I need to see what kind of vibe um, Gabby's going off of, then I'll go off that vibe. Let's Boom. just see. We like an honest gal. I know, so you go first. Okay, so honestly... <laughs> I'm gonna keep my eyes closed. She can't look me in the eyes. Yeah, like that, no. Because I'll be honest. I know. Um, so I'm a very independent person. And um, I love having Maddie here. I, l I enjoy living with her. However, I'm independent, so I like my space. I like my alone time. I like my own thing. Mm -hmm. And so, since we're very much each other's person in this moment, because we don't really, I mean, we. You know, we've only been here, I've only been here for a year now, and then she's been down here for a couple of months. So, we do everything together. We mm -hmm. go to the gym, we wake up, we eat breakfast, lunch, dinner together. I mean, it's everything. And so, yes, I enjoy living with her, but I do like my own space. So, I wish I had a little bit more of my own time, but I want to trade her for the world. <laughs> I love I love living with her. If, I, if she didn't live here, I'd be so bored. I would be doing nothing. So, you know, and I can be a little, I can, I can handle that. I can handle it. I can okay. handle it. Okay, your turn. So. If you didn't know, Gabby's this, 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 she has this many problems. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. Um, like I said, I'm not independent at all, so I do kind of clinch to her because I've never been cling, alone. Cling, not clinch. <laughs> <laughs> I do like cling to her because... I've never really been alone, but that's something I'm trying to learn. She does work in the office three days a week, and then we both have like weekend gigs. So I feel like in the beginning we spent a lot of time together, mm -hmm. and now it's like almost leveled out. But I think the only negative thing. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I mean, go ahead. I was even done talking, and you're like, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Is remember we're gonna hang out after this. I know. <laughs> um, say it. I am debating how to say Just it. Just say it. Oh my god, let me think about it first. Probably. Don't get mad. Oh shit, they're <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um. Darn. <laughs> is how close do I have to be while you say something like this? Why? Just say it. <laughs> you gotta say it. Um, I'm kind of going like back and forth in my head right now. No, just say it. Probably that she makes me do so many things. <laughs> what do you mean it makes you so do so many things? Like, no, no, no. Basically, like every time, like, like today, I'm a very, I'm, like, I'm a very yes. busy body. That's what it is. And I'm like, I want to be doing something at all times. Which I like that majority of the time. But sometimes mm -hmm. I just like, I just want to relax sometimes, and I'm just like a relaxed person. So like today. Like I told you guys, my tummy doesn't hurt and I don't feel well. And she comes home, whoops up my door, turn off the TV, get ready. Like, we gotta do this video. I'm like, oh my god, so I had to pop some medicine. I'm like, get it, throw my husband, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. Okay, but to be fair, we, she gets on my butt about doing these YouTube videos because she needs to post. And so we planned, I'm like, so Friday night we're doing this. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, okay, got it. And when it's the plan, it's locked in, I'm locked in. Like. Yeah, Gabby loves the plans. Yeah, so. so like, I'm coming home, I'm like, already thinking about the whole, the whole yeah. No, she comes home and she tells me, I already know how I'm gonna start the video. Yeah. <laughs> like, she's been thinking about something, oh, great. But Monday, we both had off, and we were both relaxing, and then like, it was around 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, she comes home, wanna go play tennis? I'm like, after laying around all day, that's the last thing I want to do, but I knew I, like, I guess that's the thing, like, I know I need to do these things, and I should be saying yes, like, it shouldn't be a big deal, but I just am so lazy sometimes. That's so, yeah, it, she got me. Yeah, so I end up doing everything. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to play tennis, and we went for a walk after. <laughs> you guys can see, like, I'm dragging her, like, to do something awful. She's not, it's just like, exactly. sometimes I like to relax more than she does. Going in the bar is now, yeah. Okay. So, next question. Um, what's one thing you hope to accomplish this year? You go first. Okay. I hope to accomplish... <laughs> what are you doing? I just did that just to see your reaction. I was like, oh, damn, she's keep... holding up my head for support right now. I'm like... <laughs> So this one's the what? The brow is. Okay. The, well, I think it's benefit. I'll run to Alta and get this. It's blurry, but trust me. Trust okay. the girl. 
Oh, sorry. Ow. <laughs> so what was the question? Um, what's one thing you hope to accomplish? Oh, today? so I hope to accomplish, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm about to hit 100 subscribers on YouTube, which makes me so excited. Oh. But I hope this year... Come on, let's see it. That way we, she's going to be held... Oh my god, that girl <laughs> looks whack. Don't worry, don't worry, we're going to go in with some kids together. <laughs> Extra. <laughs> well, because you never do your eyebrows, so it's yeah. like weird to see it, your eyebrows sound like this. So on TikTok, I'm talking about TikTok and YouTube. Like that's my goal right now. That's my goal for what's this year. What's the goal? I'm gonna say, I want it to be more realistic, but I don't really know what's realistic. So on TikTok, I'm hoping to hit. How many do you have on TikTok? I have 445, 445 subscribers. I hope to hit a thousand. Okay. Which that seems like a lot, but it's a whole year, so. I'm hoping I can do it. Okay. And on YouTube, I'm hoping to hit... I'm only at 100, which is a lot less than you TikTok. So I'm going to say for YouTube, I hope to hit 500. Okay. And then how do you plan on accomplishing these goals? What are that you going to do? That wasn't part of the question. Yeah, but it's See, like... See, this is the thing I'm talking about. It's always like... <laughs> <laughs> because like, like, I feel like when you have a goal, you have to have like a foundation down like what are you gonna you can't just whip out these okay, like, yeah, so, visions and be like oh yeah i'm gonna do this like how are you gonna do it yeah like so, what do you think you're gonna do differently this year to accomplish those things that you didn't do yeah prior? so prior this is the first time well not first time i'm finally consistent on youtube again like that's one of my six month goals is to consistently upload so i've uploaded every week i missed one week because of christmas not an excuse. Yeah, not an excuse, but a lot better than what I've been. So I'm continuing to post weekly, and I'm trying to open up my horizon. Like, before I would just post, like, vlogs. Like, it would just be a day in my life. And so now I'm doing challenges, I'm doing tutorials, I'm doing routines. Like, I'm doing more than just what I do in the day to, like, um, show, I don't know, like, I don't want to just do one thing. I want to have a couple different things that I can do and that you guys enjoy. And then with TikTok, I already post more than once a day on TikTok, but I feel like TikTok's hard because I don't, to be honest, I feel like it's just like um, skinny pretty girls that like blow up and like get followers easily. So it's kind of pretty hard, I think, to blow Let's up. not be a victim. I'm not being a victim. I still post multiple times a day. And when I say victim, I don't mean that like you're not those things. I just mean that don't put blame on something else. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to pause this real quick because my camera, my battery's about to die. Again. So the question we asked was, what's one thing you hope to accomplish this year? Maddie wants to hit what a thousand on TikTok and then. 500 on YouTube, yes. and she's just going to be posting more consistently. Mm -hmm. And a variety, I guess, now. Yeah. All right, what about you? Um, for me, I have things I want to accomplish, but... They're in the works right now, so she doesn't want to talk about them, which is understandable. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. Yeah. I'll okay. talk about when I'm ready. Mm-hmm. My next question is, who is your favorite coworker? Me? Yeah. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> yeah. Actually, well, I'll elaborate a little bit. Um, okay, so then my next, my blender brush, and then I'm just going to blend to make sure everything is, um, nicely, there's no harsh lines. So, my, I work at Mad Mobile in downtown Tampa. I started working there back in April when I left my other company, and I got really blessed to work with a group of eight women, <laughs> eight girls, and, um, it sounds like it would be a nightmare, but actually it's, probably it's one of the best departments I've ever worked in and we all get along very well we all work really well together everyone's super smart we all bring something else to the team uh, and I'm really glad I met all of them and I've built a really good relationship with each, I, every single one and so do I have a favorite I wouldn't say I have a favorite but I have people that I'm closer to um, in the department but I love everyone that's in my department so mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? Um, well, I just quit my job, <laughs> but the job I did work at, I definitely did have a favorite. It was Jane. She was the only person I talked to there. Um, everyone else didn't really talk to. And, because they all worked there for a while, so, like, obviously you have a click or whatever. 
But I worked there for a month and I still didn't talk to anyone. So yeah, just Jane. And yeah, then I close your eyes. I'm just doing some more bronzer over the lids. I do this sometimes. It's kind of like, if you get, um, what do you call it, like greasy on your eyelids or a little bit, this is a good way to like get rid of that. It's natural and it goes with your bronzer, so it's very cohesive. And that's one thing. I do have greasy skin, and I've had to guys in the beginning. I really want to look in Dermaplane. Is that what it's called? I, I have such a like a hairy face, like all the peach fuzz. So I thought about like looking into getting a shave off. Is it Dermaplane? Laser? No, no. It's like a facial. I want to get chemical. I, I want to get a chemical peel really bad. Yeah, I have one. I have a question. Okay. Wait, wait, let me go to the okay. next one. I'm gonna have Maddie do this because I don't like to put mascara on other people. But my favorite one is from Benefit. It's the Bad Gal. See it? Bad Gal, bang! It's amazing. Like a couple swipes, you'll see it when Maddie does it, and it's like. Whew. So, I'm gonna have her do this though, and we're gonna have an eyelash curl that she's gonna curl her eyelashes with. Here. So what's your question? Um, <laughs> she's a little hard. Yeah, it is hard. <laughs> oh my god, I expect you to do all this. <laughs> um, what makes you the happiest? Um, when I'm in my routine, it makes me the happiest when I'm living. When I have, when I'm going to the gym consistently, when my diet's in place. Um. I don't know, just like those simple things that you stay consistent with. Oh wow. Right? Yeah. You're like, well, I don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna steal this one too. <laughs> Keep going. Just that, that, like, it's like it's the simplest things that make me happy. Like, that's true. Like literally going to Starbucks in the morning <laughs> and getting my coffee that I love. Like that makes me really happy. Yeah, she does that once a week. <laughs> um, like when I have to go into the office, I take a walk. Like usually on my break and walk around the city for a good like 30 to 40 minutes. And that makes me really happy. If it's sunny outside, I get instantly happy. Yeah. Just the small things. But I did say that, cause, you know, something that I know that will make me happy that I can do for myself and not have to rely on anything is, you know, sticking to like a good routine. Like going to the gym in the morning, eating healthy, drinking plenty of water, getting yeah. plenty of sleep. Yesterday we had to like chug a bunch of water. You want to do the bottom washes? I never do my bottom washes because they, I feel like they oh, okay. leak. Okay. Like I just, I have a really greasy face so I feel like they always just leak if I do the bottom. Okay, so I'm just going to take, because I do love blush, <laughs> it's my favorite, I'm going to just take my brush and then just Dust it on a, uh, and let's see, I'm gonna do this color. What's it called? Blush, no, no. So. Okay, so sometimes <laughs> I don't use an eyeshadow palette for my blush because I just think they have more variety of colors and like, I like to mix it. So right now I'm just gonna take, the, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's an orange, red, and like purple, so we're just going boom, boom, boom. And this is the Huda Beauty palette. Oh, Huda Beauty palette, yeah. And then I'm just gonna just do a little dot. Just like that, just to give it some. Also, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I actually um, chopped off my eyelashes, so that's why they're. No one can tell. You're just bringing things in. No, I can, I can tell. tell. I can tell. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is highlighter. This is the Wander Beauty on the Glow Brush, which isn't really nice. Um, so this is the color. It's like a, just like a. What do you call it? A pinky rose gold. Yeah, rose gold. But like, what is it? It's a nude glow. Uh, oh, it's like uh, I guess wet instead of powder. So I'm just doing this on the brush like this, and we love a good highlighter. I I actually have used that before because she told she before she told me to put it in my in eye inner eyes, and then I now I like love the look of it, so I put it in my inner eyes all the time. Mm -hmm. We're just doing the top of the lashes. I do really like a nat like, even though it's not like people would say that's not natural. You're wearing makeup, blah, blah blah. But I think it's like natural. Don't you think this is a natural look? Yeah, I do. Like I used to do like, close your eyes, please. Um, I used to do, like really heavy eyeshadow and stuff like that. But now like, again, like, simpler. Mhm. Mm okay. Now, we do the lips. Right. <clears throat> so, um, 
We love a lip injection. Which I'm not supposed to use those because I have so actual lip injections. But they're basically all gone now, so it doesn't even freaking matter. <laughs> okay, Flex. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is the Too Faced Lip Injection <laughs> Extreme because we need that extreme power over here. Um, but I also like the Buxom. They have like a really good... We love Buxom. It's mm -hmm. a lip plumping like gloss you can just put on throughout the day. This one I usually just put on in the morning. It doesn't last forever, but you know... It gets her feeling good right yeah, now. Yeah, this is one of the things that makes me happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so also I had a question that was just for me, so sorry. Um, oh. It was... Hold on. So we're going to just let this sit too so she gets the burn and they get really red and then we'll do one with the lip that I picked out for today. <laughs> um, how's teaching going? So... Teaching is not going anywhere right now. I did apply to be a substitute teacher and I'm still waiting on my background check. It usually takes like a month and they are still on winter break. So I, I should be hearing back soon, but if not, I don't know. I'm going to have to call them. So I'm going to be a substitute teacher and here in Florida, they hire a lot of people that don't even have their... No, that's incorrect. No, it's correct. No, a substitute teacher. You don't need your license. No, I don't. Okay. They hire a lot of teachers here that don't have their degrees. So everyone's telling me that I could just go be a teacher, but that makes me nervous because I it's, it's also something I really am not that interested in well, could anymore. Well, you have a degree. Yes, I have a degree. I just don't have my um, license. License. Thank you. So it's just, I don't know. Like I'm obviously gonna pass my licensure. I need to get my license so I can say I finished it because I'm so over it. <laughs> but uh, I don't know just I'm not <laughs> interested in it anymore I don't want to teach anymore and I almost feel like my family's making me <laughs> as you can see right now she's well she's she, oh, she, okay I'll, all I ask is that you go and try it and then you can say I you don't tried want it. to no, you've never been a teacher in your own classroom your own lesson plans your own yeah, teacher I just feel like it's never done it. Yeah, okay, that's true. But I just feel like it's so much work outside of work. Do you guys hear this? I don't. You guys hear this? But guess what? That's the thing. That's the thing. I am lazy. I want an easy job. She's used to a certain lifestyle, so I think that's why she's going through a transition right now. Because I'm like, and I promise you, in six months, you just, you really just have to like. My lips are burning. Cut the bull crap. Yeah. You just have to cut it and like get that out of your head. Cut it. But like, I don't know, you should have to, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, that's the question, and that's my answer to it. All right, next question. Um, what's one thing that you both help each other with, first thing that comes to mind? Go. Maddie helps me be more impatient. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is positive self-talk. Um, we love that. Yeah, she, before, back home, like, that was not something she did, but when I moved here, I noticed, like, she was always... Like doing yeah. affirmations and positive self talk. Like, I'm not gonna name things she does because no. I don't want to embarrass her. I'm not but embarrassed. It's just like something that like you did personally. You. Yeah. So. But she's really helped me with that. She does those sticky notes in the bathroom or around my room sometimes, yeah. and I've caught myself catching on to them and saying them when she's not around. Which I don't like to give her the satisfaction of that, but it really has helped me and. I'm slowly starting to... Well, it's so weird because I think that when you start something, you... It's almost like when you start doing something that you know that's good for you. Like meditating or journaling or stuff like that. You're like, oh, I don't really know. I'm just going through the motions. And you're like, you don't really believe it. But then when you start to do it and you don't really think about it anymore, you start to do it. And then, and then like, you reflect, like, in a couple of months to how you were before and, like, what, sh what has changed. You realize that those good things that you've been, like, consistently doing and not really thinking about doing... Are actually helping you mm -hmm. and then you realize how much you've grown you're like oh wow like these things actually do work yeah like you think they they sound like so stupid at first mm -hmm. and I'm everyone always talks about how affirmations are good for you you're like yeah whatever yeah but it really does make a difference and that's what I noticed like with her like when I first came here she was doing them and I noticed the difference in her so like I was like oh me yeah, it does. Yeah, so they yeah, it's slowly it's a weird are thing. starting to stick for me but not everything that is good for you you should do if that makes sense like there's certain things that like you're into and some, some yeah. things you're not like a lot of people like yoga i it. don't like yoga yeah and you know just whatever works for you works for you mm -hmm. don't force anything because if you force things then you're not gonna you're not gonna do 
Yeah, you're not gonna do it the right way. Like, it's, or yeah, there's not really a white right way. No, like a way that benefits you. Like, it's just gonna be. Yeah. I don't know. You're just gonna go through the motions, and then you're just gonna get like tired of that. tired of trying all these things, and then you know get worn out, and then who knows. Anyway, next up, um, so our lips are done burning. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with uh, what's this? Oh, the Pillow Talk, Charlie Tilbury. Everyone knows. Look at the little so mini. Little. It's so cute. So I'm gonna show this. Obviously, I got this as a sample. Alright. And this is just like a cute little pink. I think it just gives it like a nice little color. Like, you can't really tell you wearing some or wearing it. But it looks nice. Alright. Rub them together, please. Not too much. Too much? Okay. Go like that. Okay. Alright, and then last and final step of the makeup routine. I have a question too. <laughs> okay, what? Um, someone asked me, or not asked, they told me to make merch. That's so, a question. the question is, <laughs> it's really for you. Do you think I should make merch? It wouldn't be like my name or anything. It would just be like, I don't know what it would be. I don't know, yeah, like, I'm just, I'm thinking about it, and I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> is this silly? Why would it be silly? I don't know. She needs to believe in herself more. So, oh, maybe eventually. I'm going to show the last step, and it's a wet and wild photo finish, or natural finish setting spray. So if you guys, you guys have probably heard of the Urban Decay setting spray, all-nighter setting spray, and... Um, it's like a holy grail and it's great. I've used it so many times and I agree it's great But that is like a $25 spray, which is Okay, like if you know if you want your makeup to stay on you're going out at night like I get it But this is just as good. I'm not even kidding and this was six dollars So I'm putting you guys on right now and then um, also too sometimes I do the Mario This doesn't really help your makeup stay on It's just like refreshing to put on your face after you do a full face just to give it some like dewiness so I'm gonna just spray this on her face and let it dry. Hold on, close your eyes, let it dry, because you don't want your eyelashes to get wet and like mark up your face. Or like, how do you like it? Do you think you look different? I think I look different. I think my face looks like very smooth. I have like this light around my camera, so I can't really see. But earlier, I kept like thinking that my face kind of looked different than my neck. Well, you can't because of the foundation. Yeah, but I think you did a good job. Don't get too close. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it looks like your skin. I like how yours always looks like matte yeah, and I like, like crap right now, guys. I'm no, so sorry. Not. And I think I like my lips like this too. <laughs> I'm gonna steal that from her. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We share a bathroom. She <laughs> has full access to everything. Yeah, but I don't, I would never know how to work any of this stuff. <sighs> also, if you guys want to see that, like me doing Gabby's makeup. One don't, time, if you guys don't want to see that, don't like this video. Yeah, one time I went in her room when she was like <clears throat> at work and I was just like bored. And so I saw her video of me like just doing my makeup because I was bored. She's like, Oh my god, that's the wrong brush for that. Oh my god, you're not supposed to be. Yes, doing and that. if you know if you do your makeup and she's using like the bronzer brush for her foundation or vice versa, that is terrible. And I'm gonna reap the benefits of it. <laughs> and it's not even a benefit. I'm sorry, that's mispronounced. No, I can't even talk. <laughs> So I'm so scared of doing that to my makeup. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> see, I have no idea. So if you guys want to see like me doing her makeup, which I think would be kind of funny, I don't think it would turn out that good because I, well, really I would don't. honestly have like some issues. I think the only thing <laughs> you could tell me, like it, you the can't brushes. tell me the step, but you have to tell me what brush goes with what makeup. Yeah. Okay. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to like and comment and let me know. So here's the makeup in a different lighting, which I think it looks good. Do you think, do you like it, Gabby? Yeah, I mean, I did it. I know, but, <laughs> like, you did it really well, I think. What'd you expect? I don't know. Not gonna lie, I know Courtney's gonna watch this, but last time Courtney did my makeup, yeah, it looks I was not a big fan of it. I felt like I looked fake, and this time I feel like, well, I, said, I, I look like porcelain. Doesn't that look good in the mirror? Yeah. Wow, okay. Well, make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to see me doing her makeup, please let me know. Any other suggestions? Mostly open to them. We appreciate you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye.
wave.